Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, on today's upload, we got the old lady back in the garage, as you guys can see right here. Uh, we're going to install some parts we got from Banks. Uh, our guys over there at Banks hooked us up. They were uh, I was fortunate enough to get some parts sent to me, and we're going to see what we got here. I haven't even opened them up yet. Uh, and I know one of them is a diff cover, but I think I know what these other two are. But just going to make sure uh, we'll open these on camera and hopefully get these installed. Uh, on my fourth gen, you guys have seen that I have a Banks diff cover installed on there. Um, I had a, the truck came with like a Mag High Tech or a PPE one or something like that. But ever since Banks came out with this new uh, differential cover that has the scoops that actually helps cool it off um, and only takes the stock amount of fluid, I've always wanted to switch to that one. So um, when I reached out to these guys, they were awesome. They, were gonna, they told me they would hook me up with the diff cover. And so we're gonna get that uh, installed today along with cleaning up. So as you guys see, we have the Black Ops Banks diff cover. We have some hardware, the nice stainless hardware that it comes with. This stuff is nice. Um, really top quality stuff. We have our installation kit, which looks like our viewing window, our drain plug, some thread locker, our MPT plug, and our seal. Uh, it's a gasket seal that goes around this thing. It's not actually a, uh, uh, excuse me, it's like a, an o-ring seal not a gasket seal so that'll be nice to have on this um, we have some studs for our intake horn on our, our third gen as well um, when i was installing this grid heater back in the day a uh, grid heater delete plate <clears throat> i messed it up and i put it on it only is supposed to go on one way it's not a complete square it's like a rectangular um, thing a rectangular grid heater and i jammed it on there like an idiot and i started bending some of these studs i bent them back just enough uh, to get them back on right with uh, my vise to make them straight to where I could put the intake horn back on. So we're going to try to tackle that uh, today as well. All right, guys. So here's our Banks uh, Black Ops rear diff cover. This one is uh, cools five times better than the, the flatbacks do, like your other brands, like your Mag, High Tech, PPEI, things like that. Uh, there's you can also increase your distance between service intervals. Um, there's 534 square inches of surface area to ensure optimal heat. Uh, rejection so all these cooling fins and everything that come come in there definitely gets that air up in there and cools it off and as you guys see on this uh, these Ram air scoops right here the, the air actually comes through here because this is sitting it'll sit like this in the vehicle and so the air comes through the scoops routes it up the back gets it better airflow to come up these uh, these ribs and onto your diff cover to make it cooling off you have a magnetic fill plug a magnetic drain plug which is this little guy right here focus focus there it is um, sight glass so the sight glass right there will tell you when it's full sometimes it'll be halfway sometimes it'll be completely full it's all dependent on your truck um, and an o-ring seal so there's no messy R RTV uh, RTV sealants you know what I mean and they have that possibility of a leak that is one thing that I absolutely love about this cover is the o-ring seal I hate dealing with gaskets I hate dealing with RTV I like a one-stop shop and it gets everything taken care of so we're gonna get under the truck we're gonna start wire wheeling her down and uh, cleaning her up getting some paint on there and then we'll install this diff cover after everything dries up so Banks also set us out the uh, grid heater delete for the 6.7. We're not going to get to this today, but everything comes with it. You have your spacers for your fuel rail. You have the plug for your extension because there's, there's a sensor that goes in here. It's usually over here somewhere and the wire harness won't reach. So they gave you a, um, an extension harness. We've got the gasket for our Banks Monster Ram intake. And then on the very back, we also have the, uh, the, the gasket that seals it to the actual intake plenum.
we got some dirt and debris off of here. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get today. I do have future plans of pulling the bed off and getting the whole back end media blasted. So for right now, I'm just trying to make the uh, the pumpkin area look good. So when I put some paint on it, uh, the diff cover doesn't look all nice and shiny and then everything else looks like crap. So put some nice parts on here, want it to look nice. So hit it with some paint and then we'll drop the truck back down and drain the diff and then kind of go from there. As you guys can see, this diff is leaking. I think there might be a hairline fracture in it somewhere. Um, probably around one of the bolt holes. I have already dropped this diff uh, cover before, serviced it and put a new gasket on and everything. And it doesn't leak per se in the driveway, but uh, when she's just sitting here like this, it does get pretty wet right here. So another reason we wanna get that diff cover swapped out. way to uh for that rear diff pumpkin to dry up what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and replace the bolts like i said earlier i'm going to pull all four of these nuts off there's one two there's three four possibly pull the uh the whole tube out itself and then we'll see if these will screw out easy if not then we'll have to pull the grid heater the gaskets and everything like that and go from there so I'll put you guys on a time lapse we'll get this knocked out real quick So here's the old ones there. You can see there's a little bend in that one. That was, that was self-correcting on my part. You know, I messed up, but you can see that the new shiny ones, obviously I didn't realize these sat so far down in there for a second. I thought I had the wrong, um, wrong, uh, studs, but it turns out, you know, thank God. Cause I didn't want to have to wait another for them to ship some out when I told them the wrong size. So everything looks good. Uh, these were these suck to get out, but they're out. Took me about 10 minutes for all four of them, but we're gonna go ahead and throw the uh, new ones back in and get her going. I did, however, tear the dang gasket on the intake plenum, so I'll show you guys this real quick. Uh, I don't have one with me, but you guys can see, yeah, I did tear it when I was taking it out. I'm gonna slap it back on like this. I'm gonna order a new set of gaskets and get going. Um, this should be fairly simple. I do not have to actually pull the studs again to get this, I can just pull the top. But if we do our boost test today or when we do our boost test today, you're gonna to see that it's probably gonna be leaking from there. But we'll go ahead and get these new tubes, uh, these new studs thrown back in and get her going. Old dirty girl. Got some new hardware. Not a little 80 cents can't fix. So get these thrown on. Go from there. I could not find the washers, so unfortunately we got to reuse these ones. Yeah, baby. The stud I took with me was all gummed up and it looks like it was stripped. So I was kind of wishing or not wishing, but praying that these would work. So they look like they do. The old German Turk spec good, good and tight. Should be good to go. I'm not cranking these down, I'm just 
I'm giving them a little snug, just making sure they're good. And that problem solved. Got that draining we're gonna go over here now we're gonna put together this diff cover shouldn't be too hard but we're just gonna put in the sight glass the mpt port and the drain plug and try to get this o-ring to fit in there nice and smooth so it'll go on pretty simple now if you guys saw that uh gear fluid that came out that gear fluid is pretty clean it's been changed like six thousand miles ago with that but i'm gonna go ahead and replace it anyway i'm not gonna reuse that gear fluid just because for one main reason, it's hard as hell to get back in there without making a huge mess. And I had some extra packets of uh, AMS oil laying around. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this diff cover together and then service it back up and that should be it. see right there I don't know if you guys can see that bubble she is serviced full so we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, fill plug back on and be done All right, guys, I just wanted to show you the cooling fins and see how they uh, come down. You guys can see how they drop a little bit below the rear diff to catch some of that air. Just wanted to emphasize that a little bit. I think that's a pretty cool, uh, innovative design. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That was just a little recap of uh, or a little upload of how to install the diff cover along with some studs. If you're uh, installing that ram air intake, I pretty much just did that on the video as well by replacing the studs and the grid heater delete plate. But as you guys see, it's a pretty simple mod. Uh, Banks provide some awesome products out there. Uh, I look forward to hopefully installing some more of their products on the truck. I really would love to get one of those uh, intercoolers for the 6.7 and an intercooler for the 5.9. So those are something I have on my want list and uh, hopefully we'll get that done sooner than later. But uh, I want to thank Banks again for sending out these parts and uh, hooking me up and letting me uh, get these parts installed on the truck. Uh, in my opinion, the parts that I installed are second to none in the industry, and hopefully, uh, you know, they keep up that awesome work over there. So that's going to be it for today's upload, guys. I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you guys haven't been here before, make sure you get down there, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And, uh, man, I love interacting with you guys in the comments, so get down there and uh, leave me a good comment what you think about these products and, uh, you know, whatever else is on your mind. So other than that, we'll see you guys on the next upload. Have a good one. Take care.